How's it growing, Plant Heroes? Plant Hero Call here today to do a little requested help with the Fiddly Fig video that I posted a while back. We're going to look at some of the emails that I got and tell you how I might reply to some of them and let you know, you know, you're doing okay, you can correct course if you need to, and uh, hopefully this helps someone who might even be sending a question figure their answer out before they even have to send an email. So let's dive right into the computer. We're gonna look at, I think, six emails today and everyone was nice enough to attach some pictures. Don't send me a million emails because that would probably get in the way of normal work, but we're gonna do our best to help you and always drop your questions in the comments below in the video and that way we can gather and grow from each other together so without further ado let's dive in uh, so this first one hey there I'm watching a video about the fiddly fig I have a question about a second plant growing next to a bigger one which is suffering from brown leaves can I repot the smaller one how would I do that I'd love to have some advice um, so here are the pictures, let's go to the pictures, and you can see here there's a nice smaller plant beautifully growing, um, but the one above it isn't doing so well, and I'm going to say that's probably because you have it in a location where it's getting light lower in the room, you can kind of see right here, and the upper part is more in a dark corner of the room. So if you could move it to somewhere where it gets more light up top, you could help it do better. But for now, you could definitely cut that bottom piece out. Um, it's probably just a stem coming from the mother plant. Uh, and what you would do is stick it in water for a couple weeks till you see roots come out. Make sure you change the water every couple weeks, or I mean, change the water a couple times a week and you should be set. So. That'll be number one. Number two. Hi Colin, I watched your fiddly fig video. Um, I'm having a problem with mine. I noticed the leaves are browning and the roots look as if they need soil. I know my plant is not getting the sun it needs and is not in the best position in, in my apartment. Uh, the only sunshine is in the spring to summer time. Uh, some leaves fell off, you know, wondering what I'm doing wrong love these plants dearly and I know the lack of indirect sun is affecting them. I don't want to lose any more. So let's jump over. We can see here some of the leaves that fell off. I'm going to say some of this actually looks like it was because it was a little dry, but also mainly because low light, like you said. Um, so, you know, one quick fix would be open those blinds right up. That would probably be a good move. Um, and you know you can see that the leaves look a little flimsy and weak so more sun is better uh, you could probably also fertilize and I mean I'm seeing some roots here in the top uh, so I would say you know you could add a little soil but I don't think you need to repot the whole plant you know you're doing the right thing though it's got some new growth and you know the leaves are looking good so I would say, you know, remove the bad leaves and add some more light. Maybe very light fertilizer could help um, give it some more strength. But uh, yeah, I mean, usually when in doubt, it's a sunlight problem. So that would be number two. Here is number three. So with this one, we have a couple. Uh, different comments and they kind of went in between the uh, pictures sent in the email. But, uh, hi, I just watched your fiddle leaf fig video on YouTube and it was great. I'm hoping you can help me with my fiddles. Um, I received Pfeiffer three months ago, ordered it online and he arrived in poor condition. So I'm pretty sure this is Pfeiffer. Let's just make sure. Yeah. So. This is Pfeiffer, you know, I think this position here with uh, 
you know, very thin slit window is probably not enough light for it. But then you see Pfeiffer was moved to a nice, beautiful window. Um, so I think that moves in the right direction, definitely. Um, and then, let's see. The company sent another one immediately, which is good on them for that. Um, Philippa arrived in great condition, which I believe is... This is Philippa. Um, this is a perfect setup for a fig. Lots of light. Um, even some new growth on there, so I think maybe they picked a better one this time to send you. Um, but for the past three months, you've had them in this window above, but it's north-facing and off a porch, so we're worried they're not getting on a flight. Um, we killed one in the past for root rot, so you want to be sure that you're not going overboard with letting them dry out. Um, I would say you're doing the right things, caring about light. Uh, definite root rot, I would be careful about your watering. Uh, it seems like you need to get your fingers in the soil, would be your, your best first move, is to really dial in that watering and get it on a schedule. That way you're sure that you're not, you know, watering when the soil's still wet and you know kind of when it's dried out. But as far as this one goes, that's a little damaged, came with these spotty leaves, and what you can do is you can remove them if you want. Um, it's not going to really hurt the plant overall, but the only thing that's going to save this is removing the leaves and waiting for some new growth to come out. So make sure they have enough light, make sure you dial in the water, and you should be okay. Okay, on to number four. Uh, all right, we have someone who watched the YouTube video, Ultimate Care, yes, arm you with all the tools. Um, she isn't sure that her tree can be rescued. Uh, her tree's name is Flora. She lives in Manhattan. Um, I think uh, we have an issue with the heating system, it looks like. Um, you can regulate the amount, but not the temperature. So it's getting either too hot, too cold. Um, I mean, honestly, I think as long as your place is comfortable for you, it should be comfortable for your plant. But uh, if you have it right directly above a heater, it's probably not the best spot. Um, maybe you can move it even a couple feet. That might help. Um, she's been through the ringer, listening to her mother's watering advice. All right, we have her on a schedule now, and let's see these pictures. So I think this is the process. Uh, so you've got kind of first how it arrived. Oh, first photo is October 2020, second photo. All right, so here we go. This is how the fig arrived, nice and full. It was definitely turning towards that window, so I think... Um, it did a little adjusting, probably lost some leaves, but I would rotate it, you know, once a week, definitely, to, to keep as much foliage as you can. And then it looks like, you know, slowly but surely we've lost more and more leaves. I would say your best chance at saving this plant would probably be to, if you could move it to a very, very bright spot, uh, I would even almost suggest cutting it down, which sounds very drastic, but maybe if, uh, you know, you cut it down to just a trunk only, you know, you're not going to really fix this upper foliage, and the best chance you might be able to give it is just a total fresh start. So that's what I would say. Keep it on that watering schedule, and uh, if you feel drastic and you want to just go for the Hail Mary, then cut it down. Um, but if you want to try and work with it and don't mind how it looks for now, you could try and see if you can move it to a brighter spot, keep it on that watering schedule, and maybe do some very light fertilizer because you don't want to shock it with, you know, a lot of fertilizer. It'll lose the rest of its leaves probably. All right, number five. I saw your video on YouTube. Wanted to shoot you an email. Uh, we have a plant that's been struggling. A bit of background information. We live in Toronto, and let's see, during week one it was in an east-facing window, 
moved it to a west-facing window, who were thriving. Then it started dropping some leaves. The larger leaves in the middle have now started drooping. So we brought a grow light bulb. Um, two days into using the light, the leaves started to develop a faint yellow on the inside of the leaves. Large sliding door, so there's a draft. The coolness in the room must be contributing to a leaf drop. So, I would say number one, uh, when you bring the fiddle home, you want to put it in the brightest spot, even if it's not where you want it permanently. That way it transitions from the nursery, the brighter conditions, to your home. Um, if it's a huge, big glass pane window and it's really cold outside, you might want to move it a foot or two back just to so it doesn't get that cold tinge to it. But next up, uh, I'm, I'm kind of thinking that the yellowing in the leaves is also just from lack of light. I don't think it's based on the grow light. I think you're doing the right things by trying to add more light. Um, any extra lights will help. So if you, you know, can do that. I, I know you're not working with the best situation with those windows, but um, you know, I think trying not to move your plant is pretty important. Uh, you want to make sure that it can really settle in. So if you shift it around a bunch of times, that's probably not the best idea. But I would say as much light as you can and keep it on that watering schedule. Try not to move it. And uh, it seems like you're carefully watering the plant. The top two inches felt dry. I would say you could go further. If you can get like a skewer or something, like a wooden skewer, you can stick it in there and really figure out is there moisture in the bottom of the plant. And now looking at some of these pictures for you, um, here's the yellowing leaf we were talking about. I would say that actually looks like low light, maybe, um, you know, from the time it had a little too much water um, but hey your new growth looks pretty okay so I'm gonna say keep doing what you're doing any leaves like this you can pull off and uh, ignore these heaters that are just failing me great love when the heaters turn on in the greenhouse all right and number six um, watch your video on YouTube uh, Plants seem to be suffering. We have three. The small one is growing beautifully, but the other two seem to be struggling at the moment. Let's take a look at the pictures and see what we got. So, I think, let's see. The smaller one has some good new growth. Uh, it looks like some of the lower leaves still need, you know, either a little cleanup or there's definitely some new growth up here, so that's good. Um, these lower leaves, that looks a little bit like too wet, if I were to guess. Um, it almost looks a little rotty, and um, you know, I would just be careful with the watering. Um, yellowing with brown tips, that definitely looks like a little overwatering. Um, but you know, from what I can tell, the soil seems dry. The nice thing, I guess, is that it is only the lower leaves that are doing this, so if you course correct, I think the plant could be doing well. And uh, I mean, this picture right here, it is, it is doing beautifully. So um, I think get the watering down and don't be too afraid if you lose a leaf or two, because that might just be adjusting and, you know, come spring, it's gonna shoot out a bunch of new growth for you, I'm sure. So, that'll do it, Plant Heroes. Hope this helped. Um, if you have any specific questions, drop them in the comments, cause that's where I can kinda aggregate them all and you know, anyone could answer them. So, hope that helps. Thank you for following along. If you liked any of this, drop some fertilizer on that like button, subscribe, click the bell for notifications of when I post videos like this that might be able to help you with your plant adventures. And, uh, you know, we should all try and learn from each other. So I'm trying to build this community here and it would be great if 
some of you could interact with each other and you know maybe i don't have the exact knowledge on some of this but if someone in the comments wants to say like oh number two i think that's this issue or something like that that's more than welcome so join in and till next time plant heroes always be growing <laughs>